Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. We are back at home, baby. I thought I would make this video like a get my life together, basically. And just a getting back on track video. I did do all my unpacking last night, so it doesn't mean organizing in that sense. But I'm gonna be going food shopping, I'm gonna be meal prepping, going to the gym, and yeah, just kind of getting myself back into the swing of things after getting back from Dubai. So that has started with my morning ritual with my morning supplements you guys know i literally always have my greens creatine and glutamine in the morning and that is something that i missed doing in dubai just kind of having the schedule and routine and everything like that and i also had some protein oats this morning and speaking of supplements why have I just gotten so bright? Speaking of supplements, I am just about to have my pre as well. This is a brand new flavor. Well, it's kind of not brand new anymore. I did get it sent to me like within my first couple of weeks I was in Dubai, I think, and I was so annoyed because I so wanted to try it. Um, but this is the new Jungle Fruits flavor of Pride and I'm really excited. Actually, actually, do you know what? Let's do a taste test. I'll do it with you. Right, I also got a new whisk, guys. I didn't even know EHP sold, you know, like the little whisks to whisk around like your greens and your pre-workout and stuff. Life-changing. Love it. I just feel like those like aesthetic morning routine girls on TikTok, like it's it's just really fun. It's like when you have one of those, you can really romanticise your morning. Anyway, let's try this flavour. I have just brushed my teeth though, so it might taste a bit grim. Mmm. What does that taste like? It tastes like some kind of sweet. Mmm, very nice. I like that. Really like that. Highly recommend. If you guys want to get any supplements, by the way, from EHP Labs, um, there's a link in my description and you can use my code MIA, which will get you money off. I think it's 10% off. And yeah, guys, I honestly don't know what this plot is. Like, I actually cannot plot my own hair to save my life. So please don't judge the plot. <laughs> But it's like freshly washed hair. There's only so many hairstyles that you can do for the gym, I feel like. So that's just what we're working with today. But I'm literally just about to go train push. Anton's calling me. Hello? And she's back. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just vlogging. Oh, uh, I'm on the vlog. Yeah, say hi. Hi, vlog. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm just about to go and train push. And I'm actually buzzing, you know. I'm buzzing to get back to Ultraflex, the home ground. Ultraflex is just such a fucking sick gym. Like Venus in Dubai really just reminded me of Ultraflex.
Alright guys, I finished my session and it wasn't great. I was feeling very weak. Very weak, but I feel like it's I feel like it's to be expected. Obviously, I was kind of like on track with my training in Dubai. Like I stuck to my split and everything like that, but it was more so just like eating. So I feel like that's just what's kind of thrown me off. But it's fine, you know. We put our ego to the side and lifted lighter weights. Um I also did some lifts that I've like not focused on for the past like month that I've just not really done in Dubai like barbell bench press dumbbell shoulder press so yeah it's literally to be expected that I don't feel as good because it's literally been a month since I've done them but in the next couple of weeks I'll be hitting those numbers that I was hitting before and more hopefully but ugh, still got a good pump I'm about to just go to I think I'll go to Morrison's yeah Morrison's is elite I'm gonna go to Morrison's get a food shop and I'm gonna do some meal prep so I will kind of show you what I get I don't really know what to make for my dinner though hmm I don't I don't know do you know what I'm actually really feeling like a salad but not the kind of salad that you think because I'm really not a fan of what was that I'm really not a fan of like you know like really small little unfulfilling salads but do you know what I do love like a mediterranean salad without tomatoes obviously I hate tomatoes but like olives feta cheese tuna and then oh my god right i don't know if i actually spoke about this on my vlog when i did it but a few months ago i was making this salad right my foot my camera's flashing so it might just cut me out but i was making this salad it was feta cheese um olives onions tuna and obviously like lettuce and stuff with truffle oil nicest salad i've had in my yeah i'm gonna make that for dinner i'm gonna make it i'll show you how i make it it's literally elite it's the ultimate like summer dinner obsessed i've just been to morrison's and picked up my food shop but i'm too hungry to wait so i got this like chicken two chicken legs you know from like the um counter just because i just don't think i can wait till i get home look at them bad boys i'm just gonna have them now and then when I get home, I'll make my salad, which I'm so excited for. All right, I've just got back and just put a hoodie on because it's actually quite cold. But I'm just going to run through kind of what I've got in my food shop. So, starting off with this big boy. Got some whole grain, uh, multi-grain Cheerios. Because I personally love cereal, but obviously a lot of cereal has a lot of... Um, sugar in it and stuff like that so this this has obviously still got sugar in it but it's just lower than like the rest of the cereals and then we've got some chicken salmon and then chicken sausages because i like to have these for breakfast even though they have given me the ick because i've had them so much i literally do not know what else to make for breakfast because don't know about anyone else but i am not a breakfast person at all I hate it i dread breakfast I am such a nauseous person when I wake up that like the last thing I want is breakfast but I just force myself to eat it because obviously breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Blah, blah, blah. And then I got some olives for my salad and also some feta cheese for my salad. And then I got then I got some protein yogurts. These are actually new in Morrison's, but these are kind of like the little ones. Chocolate caramel. Don't really know if I like them because I don't really I don't know about them, do you know what I mean? They're just kind of, a lot of things give me the ache really easily. I'm a very uh, like texture kind of person and the texture of those is not nice. But I got some onions for my salad as well. And then, oh, and then I got some potatoes just for, I mm, don't know if I will put them in my salad, but I'll definitely have them for tea one night this week. And then got some lemons also for the salad. Some risotto rice just for whenever I want it because I do love to make a good like chicken risotto sometimes, so nice. Tuna for my salad and then also spring onions and lettuce for my salad. How many times do I want to say for my salad? <laughs> and then I got some bagels also for breakfast. Um, I got some squares bars for pre-workout. Some oat milk because there wasn't really any good soy milk in Morrison's and soy milk tends to easily give me the ick if it really doesn't like taste right god i literally sound like such a high maintenance person i'm really not that picky 
but I don't know, I just have the, I have the ache of a lot of things recently. And then some deodorant, because I was running out. I probably should have got two, to be honest. But yeah, that's my food shop. This is like obviously just for me. And I, I live with like my family, but this stuff is just for me because like I buy my own food shops and stuff like that. But yeah, this is literally, so I'm going to be at home for like five days this week. So this will do me for like about five days or more. Obviously things like the potatoes and stuff, they'll probably last me more than that. And like these onions will last me another week probably. And the cereal too. But for the most part, this is the main bulk of what I will eat for my dinner and my tea this week. So yeah, let's start making this salad because I'm really excited to show you how I make it. You guys, honestly, need to try it. It's unreal. I have missed this flask so much. It's a Stanley dupe. I got it off Amazon. I'm not willing to pay like, what is it, 60 quid for one of these? Absolutely not. That is daylight robbery, if you ask me. But I'm just gonna have my salad and I'm doing some work while I, whatchamacallit, eat my dinner. And then I'm gonna sit on my laptop for a bit because I'm gonna hopefully get this video up by tomorrow, which will be Wednesday. And I also just want to mention that tomorrow, by the time that you are watching this, the Honor Active Varsity capsule will have gone live. So I'll put some graphics on screen of what's launching. But if you follow me on Instagram, then you will have seen, hopefully, because I've not got my parcel yet and it's Tuesday. The launch is tomorrow. It was basically meant to get sent to my hotel in Dubai, but something like, there was a mix up. Um, and it's literally just been shipped today to my house. So hopefully, fingers crossed, to get it tomorrow so that I can upload like a last minute try on haul. Because this is literally like one of my favorite drops ever. But if you are wanting to get your hands on it, then click the link in my description, my support link, and hopefully there's some stock left. But yeah, it's literally like the perfect like summer effortless colours, like and also like lightweight summer lounge pieces, like sporty pieces as well. So yeah, you guys literally do not want to miss this launch. And as I said, if you do want to see if some stock is left, I'm sure they should be because this will be going up an hour after the launch. So yeah, click the link in my description if you wanna see what's left. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wash all of these bottles. Nah, guys, this is so embarrassing. Look at that mold. Negra con bikini solo para mí Pelo rizado con un culazo así Morena, morena, morenita Que a que Quiero tu cuerpito en mi cama Y baila rumba pero solo encima Me bebe Baila rumba negra I've just cleaned my bottles They were actually grim I've literally just left them to drain on there and I'll dry them later and put them in the cupboard. But I think I'm gonna do some washing. Oh, the washer's still on actually. Maybe I won't. There's literally so many clothes to wash, like literally a month's worth of clothes. And I need some stuff to wear to the gym, you know? I don't care about the normal clothes, we we'll be wearing those. But I need to make sure that I do all the washers in the next couple of days, but it is gonna take a while. <laughs> All 
all right i'm gonna end today's video here i hope you guys enjoyed it it was literally just like basically my first day back at home obviously i landed yesterday so i just kind of wanted to film my like organizing and just making me feel back at home and back on track and everything like that so i hope you enjoyed it and i think this sunday's video will be the video that i make about like solo travel like the trip that i took and i'm gonna kind of include as much information in that video as possible so look out for that one on sunday but yeah also don't forget to check out the new honor active varsity collection the link is in my description it literally just went live an hour ago after this has been uploaded so go 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 yeah thanks guys for watching and i'll see you on sunday bye